What is that? I don't like the looks of this. In fact, I would have to say that looked very, very bad. Oh, well, there's the other end of the beam, so let's go run up and see that. I have a sneaking feeling this is a time thing and I'm just about out of time. Forming the duties of his office. Of DBC Caesar. Well, hey, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back playing some No Time with, well, Edward. Um, so a couple of things we need to do today, or a couple of things I want to do today, more specifically. Oh, that's that blimp thing. Um, yeah, basically the main quest we're on, we have to go deactivate the air cannon, and then we can go invade the underwater base. And the other quest we had going was the, like, the Hillman quest. It Basically, what I figured out was this. I went and looked Terra Bree up in... Well, on Google, basically, Google Translate, and it comes out to Breland. Now, Breland happens to be a region near the Shire in uh, the Fellowship of the Ring. And that's also where Old Man Willow is from. So, we do know we have kind of a Fellowship of the Ring thing going. The Old Man Willow, I think, was located in the Great Forest or something similar. Anyway, the, he was located in the Great Big Forest. We do know where there's a Great Big Forest, so I'm assuming he's over there somewhere. But... From what little I've read, it also seems like the quest might be a little broken sometimes. You might have to finish the game first. And quite frankly, I wanted to go back and do all the side questy stuff that we didn't after we get done with the main storyline. Because there are a lot of side quests in this game. And the only one we've actually really done is the Viking one. Hello. So, we will be doing that, but not today. The other thing I wanted to do, though, was you might remember we actually got given a date... In the, well, last episode, basically, when we went up to the top of Mount Aurora. And that date, and I wrote it down, and I'll show you a picture of it if I can think of it, was October 1st, 1795. And it was the day that Friedrich Athor first climbed Mount Aurora. So I was thinking it might be kind of cool, just as a, uh, a little bit of a side distraction, to set the time conduction thing. We'll set that for that October... 1st, 1795, and go fly up there and see if we can see him doing it. Because I'm kind of curious to see now if that will have actually been included in the game. I cannot help but think that any game that involves time travel, and also mentions a very specific date about something, is going to have something actually happening on that date. So, God, it's been forever since I traveled. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, October 1st, 1795, and we will go at our favorite... 9 a.m. Is that the anti-air gun, I wonder? It looks like it might be. Let's go find out. Okay. Yes, this would be the Bridgetown anti-air gun. Okay. Are you going to come help me, Edward, or are you going to make me do this myself? I'm thinking I probably ought to get my booby gun out, just in case. So, anyway, yeah, it, um, unsurprisingly, since I have the memory of a mildly concussed goldfish, I completely forgot that the reactor thing was fried, and I can't travel in time. So the going back to 1795, much like the Hillman quest and stuff, is just going to have to wait until a future date. Now, I know i got to get in there, and it looks like i got to go up there. What the hell is this? Am I going to get hit by a train if I go over here? Hello, good people. Oh, wow. Where did you come from? Hello. How is it? I don't know you. Okay. You know what? Let's not have a conversation. So how does one get into this place? Is it down here? Yes, yes it is. Are there going to be agents or anyone else that needs booping? Yes, there is. Okay. Why is my gun not reloading? Oh, because I was looking at the damn agent. You know, you'd think I'd remember that since we did that last time. Alright, I'm just listening for footsteps. I don't hear anybody. Oh. Uh, you cannot reload when you're looking at them. Okay, there's a computer terminal. Hmm. 
All right, he's down, he's down. Is there anybody else that needs booping? I don't see anybody else. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Oh. Okay, deactivate system. Yes, please. New PLC entry. Didn't I have to do that twice? Um... Nope, not the map. I need my journal. Yes, active quest. Last stage. I managed to deactivate the anti-air gun. Now it is time to dive in deep. The base is located somewhere outside of Cape Dunn, deep under the sea. Okay. Now, could I survive this jump if I was to just... Oh, you know what? No. No, you couldn't, Digby. You're just going to have to run down the ramp and suck it up. All right, Edward, do you happen to know where the base is located? Good job, man. As always, you show your expertise. Now it's time to dive. The deep sea base is right beneath the sea of Cape Dunn. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me get my uh, booby gun put away. Let's get the map back out and see if we have it on the map now. Ah, oh, it's doing the reboot thing again. Wah -wah. <laughs> All right, map. So it's out here somewhere, yes? Is it up here? All right, well, there's Cape Dunn here, so it's got to be in this cove somewhere, I would think. I mean, I would just ponder now loud, but it seems like this is a uh, natural spot to put it. Now, how does one dive? Oops. Okay, you know what? Before I jump in, I think we are going to save the game. Yes, please. Confirm. Okay, so if we screw this up, we'll be fine. Is there a dive button or something I need to know about? That's anti-gravity. Inner lights. We just go for it, I guess? Could I, like, use the hover controls to... Ow, okay. Well... <sighs> oh, can we go off the end of the dock, please? Please tell me the car will fit on the dock. I want to leap off of the dock like James Bond doing the submarine thing in uh, The Spy Who Loved Me. That would be amazing. Ow. That never happened to James Bond. Oh, I think I found the base. <laughs> okay, how the hell does one work the submersible controls? Yeah, this has got to be the base. Okay. Alright, I think we figured it out. Now, where are we? How am I supposed to get into this place? Um, I'm not actually... Here, can I turn... Oh, oh, a bad idea, a bad idea. Okay, look. Just look, 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 look. Let's turn on the headlights so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Go back into I have control over the car mode. I see red blinky lights. I'm going to assume... Red lights, do you see them? The docking area must be right beneath. Yes, that was exactly what I was about to say, Edward. Thank you for doing it for me. I gotta admit, this is really cool. And whoever designed this docking area sucks because they put it right facing this gigantic hillside. Which, not how I would have set things up, but that's just me. Now, you said underneath of it, Edward, right? I see what looks to be a doorway. Um, the window, it's cracking. Okay, can we maybe get in the place really quick? Really, really quick. Where's the ducking area? Right there. This won't end in a good way. Well, I didn't design the thing, dude. The mechanic dude did. Okay, get it. That's not a... Oh, no. Yells, watch it. My car! Dude, what? Did you just get back in the car? Um, I'm drowning here, Edward. Are you in the car? I can't see. Are you in the car? I have no idea. Won't let me open the door either. Ah, well, I'm gonna die. Lovely. No, I'm not. Okay. Hi, Edward. Um, do you have any plans about getting the car back? Ah, we survived. We made it. Thanks be to God. We just lost our time machine. Alas, the glass wasn't strong enough. But we did not lose the time machine per se. As you can see, I managed to rescue the core. Good thing I made it watertight. As long as we had this, we can always remake the other parts. But my... Stuff was in the trunk, Edward. I had books in there. Lead on the corridor down to the left, and then we will need to split up. Okay. Well, boopy gun on standby. Make sure it's reloaded. Going on, corridor down to the left. Well, that would be this way. 
You come. Oh, I hear a friggin' intruder bot. I hate the friggin' robots. Okay, this is ridiculously cool. Alright, here we need to split up. Oh, that's right, I gotta go do a couple things, don't I? Okay. That it? Oh. <laughs> Let's do it then. You need to take the corridor and then the ladder up through the vents. There would be a way right up to the data core. Remember, there are two cores. Okay. Here's the chip. Don't lose it. I won't. Remember, we'll meet at the end point of the accelerator. No worries, you'll find it. God be with you, yes. God and everyone else can help. Okay. Well, one. I'm running out of inventory space. So I'm going to, even though I don't particularly need it... Just eat up my snack. Can I not eat anymore? Okay, now I can have this, yes? Ah, oh, for God's sakes, I can't find the right key. Okay, so follow the corridor, go up the ladder, gotcha. Is this it? There's no one in the uh, base that's gonna try and shoot me? Edward, there's two ladders, buddy. What's over this way? Oh, well. <laughs> Answers that question. Is this where I came in? Yes, this is where I came in. Just checking. Okay, we're in the actual core bit now. Let's make sure I'm not screwing something up. Okay. I did not come all this way to screw something up. And I just know there's going to be agents or somebody in here, isn't there? Yep. And a robot from the sounds of it. Where's the robot that's yelling at me? Okay, yeah, I got the point. Okay, quiet. Oh, wait a minute. That looks like a insert the chip slot thing right there. It is. Okay. Where did I put the chip? Must be destroyed. Nope. Why am I still lugging that around? You know what? Let's check the map real quick. Okay, so go. we came in there. I've gone all the way around to here. Dude, chill. Good man, now to the next core. I unlock the door for you. Okay, that was easy. Wait a minute, boopy guns in seven. This door, I'm guessing? Um. Okay. Oh, now he's gone. I heard you. Ow, I moved. All right, well, they haven't really hurt me at all yet, so... That fills me with a bit of confidence. Something whizzing past my face when I come through the door certainly didn't, though. Can I hit you from here? That would be brilliant. Well, I got one free hit on you. Anybody else guarding this thing? No? Okay, good. Oh, yes, there is. Shoot. Dude, don't get him away. Great, let me open you the next door. You said I only had to do two of these things, Edward. I am at the third core. I hold on, someone's coming. Um, who's coming? Is it gonna be this era's version of Crimson or something? I take it I meant to go this way? Okay, we're in another um, particle accelerator. Edward, where the hell are you, buddy? Oh, shit. Why is it not shooting? My gun's not working. There's a lot of dudes in here. I'd really like to be able to shoot them, please. Can I just flashlight them to death? Um, hello? Okay, hang on a second there, fellas. Yeah, you're not coming up to get me. That's fine. What in the hell just happened? Can I please know why I can't change my... Um... 
Okay, not sure what happened there. I didn't die. Okay, it was part of the quest. Mr. K that's freaking crimson. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Our defense units overreacted a bit. Oh, you evil bastard. Please step forward. Do I have to? I don't like you very much. Ah, yes, Sir Edward Athor's esteemed colleague. We will talk about your friend later. You know me already, I guess, right? Yes. Yes, I know a good deal about you and your inventor friend. Me and Edward have known each other for years now, you know. Yeah, I knew that too. See, the reason we knew you were coming is because I was warned. Okay. Who warned us? Let me see. It was back in the late 70s. I was doing my regular stroll through the outskirts of town where the old landmark once stood. And suddenly I managed to catch a message sent through time. It was a capsule sent through a time machine in cases of emergency. Oh, that's clever. I was told all about everything, about your friend being stuck in 300 BC with them, whom you eventually turned up to save, but not me. Oh, God. Putting two and two together, I found out this landmark was your doing, well, in the far past. I extracted what knowledge I could obtain out of it. The goddamn, it's always, always, always the defense bot. Funny thing, but a part of our research went into the wind science, uh, went into wind since you delivered us a perfectly working time core, okay. Yes, your little endeavor to stop my rescue plan. Well, it is over, you'll be taken care of. Um, Edward, you okay, buddy? Um, after this little interruption of yours, our allies will finally establish open control over the whole world. First will the apostasy, and then we will launch our wars in the Middle East, which will carry over into other countries, weakening the whole world, ready for our great leader to step in as the savior of humanity. Oh, God. Yep, here we go again. Vatican II was only the beginning. This way, we will put a wrecking ball to the entire Western civilization. This last bastion in our way will fall soon like a rock in the sea. Sorry. Cat interrupted. I know an implants one world bank. Yeah, how'd you know that? You said that already. Disgruntled. Yeah. When? Never you mind. Crimson thanks. Okay. I see. Well, now that you're here, let us test your... Oh, shoot, I missed it. Edward, I have long planned my revenge on you. Ever since you were in my career, you stole my ideas. You will pay for all you did to me. Dude, you're mental. Size. Initiate the process. That doesn't sound good. What are you doing, Edward? I assume it's going to happen, Edward. Mr. Crimson looks the agent. Here, take the access keys and store them away in the archive. I really don't feel like I should be standing in front of this. No. Yes, sir. Tries to get free. Oh, we get free. Okay, Edward. Do, um... Arg? Can I please not be in front of this anymore? Chuckles, goodbye, Edward. Pauses. Comrades, let's go to the observation chamber. Can I hit you? Sir, uh, we're supposed to initiate the time travel sequence? Or were we supposed to initiate the time travel sequence? That makes all the difference, actually. No, fool. I meant the warm-up sequence. Always be specific. Oh, crap. Now what? Arg. Alright, to get... What in the heck is going on here? Okay, part of me wants to know, part of me does not. Oh shoot, do I still have my boopy gun? No, I don't have anything. What in the hell have you guys done? Well, you killed a tree. I don't know if I should be going this way. Oh, it's the friggin' bees or whatever they were. Yeah, nothing good's gonna happen that way, so let's go this way and see where the beam's coming from. I have a sneaking feeling it's coming from the ocean. Are you Old Man Willow by any chance?
What in the hell? Oh, that's the Indian village, isn't it? No, it isn't. It looks like a different one. Can I get down here without getting killed? Okay, all the missiles and nuclear stuff is a bit scary, to be honest. Okay, the statue's gone. I didn't even know there was a statue out here. Okay, campfires. Ah, okay, don't hit me, statue thing. What is that? I don't like the looks of this. In fact, I would have to say that looked very, very bad. Oh, well, there's the other end of the beam, so let's go run up and see that. I have a sneaking feeling this is a time thing and I'm just about out of time. I don't think I can get in there. Um... I definitely can't get in there before that goes off. Yeah, we're about to get, um, tidal waved again, I think. There's gotta be a way to get in there, yes? Okay, he got into it, goddammit. I wanna get in there. Okay, I got sucked up. Thank God. Now where the hell am I? Um... Okay... Well, I have a sneaking feeling. He's running like hell for this thing. We're gonna run like hell for it, too. Technically, he's not running like hell, but you know what I mean. Now he is. Oh, this is so creepy. Uh-oh. This seems like a really bad place to be in an earthquake. Um, how am I meant to get across this? Where did you go? Oh, you're going this way. Okay, I'll follow you. Do you know where you're going? And this is really cool, but where the hell am I? It's a giant, like, uh, monster frozen in ice. I mean, the Ice Age, maybe? Dude, run a little faster, would you? Um... Okay, not liking that. Okay, here comes the fireballs, and I assume the tidal wave. Can we go a little faster there, my friend? What in the hell have I done? Technically, Crimson did it, not me. I don't know why they keep blaming me in the car for it. Okay, well, this at least looks like somewhere I recognize. Am I back in 33 BC or wherever the hell Crimson was left in his little cage? I see Agent. I'm going. I know it. My younger self got the message. Oh, hold on. Where are you going? We're getting the hell out of here. Looks at you. You! Agent, come back here. Hey! I'm half tempted to stay behind just to watch him snuff it, because nothing I could think of in this game would cheer me up more than that. Hey! Bye, Mr. Crimson. Um, do I just jump up? Okay, nope, I guess we're going this way. Oh, crap, that's a cliff. All right, looks like he's on top of the courthouse this time. Oh, we're in the Old West, okay. So we have to probably use the scaffolding if it's like it used to be. I don't see anybody in town, just me. I don't see the agent either, but I'm going to assume he cleverly ran like hell in this direction. Yep, we'll have to use the scaffolding. That's not a big deal. We know how to do this. Oh, 
kind of stinks. I'd like to sit here and just kind of poke around a little bit. Don't make that noise at me. Okay, that was Clint Westwood. Oh no. I know what you're thinking. You have no idea what I'm thinking, Clint. Trust me. Did he fire six shots or only five? Oh my god, really? Please end with, do you feel lucky, punk? To say the truth and all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. Yep, word for word. But being this is the most powerful handgun in the world and will blow the boogers under your nose clean off, that's not quite how the quote goes, Clint, but... You gotta ask yourself one question. Here it comes. Do I feel lucky? <laughs> well, do ya? Punk. My life is complete now. Can I talk to you? Turns to you and nods. Go get him, pal. I will. Can I? I want that gun. All right, never mind. We'll just go this way. Unarmed. Okay, game saved. So I assume we're back in the base. We're on a train. Okay, this is cool. Oh, crap. That's a Terminator. I don't have a booby gun. Well, you got bigger problems than me right now, little dude. Um... How does one get out of here? Crap, do I have to go up where he is? Alright, that didn't work. Okay, hi. Oh. So I apologize if the commentary has been a bit minimalist for the last few minutes. Quite frankly, it's a little bit hard to think. Um, okay, I see kind of what I'm, ow, meant to do, I think. Except I can't work out how to get a bit on this one. Is there another, oh, do I climb, okay, yes, idiot, I missed it. Okay, we're racing across the train in an unknown time and place, chasing a time agent that I don't want to catch. Um... Are we on the, like, levy train? I think I was supposed to follow him around to the front. Okay, well, we're getting a better idea of what we're doing now. Okay, it's like he's grabbing the lever or something, but I can't grab the lever. Oh, he went out this... Okay, you sneaky Pete. You went out this way. Gotcha. I had a feeling that ramp might have something to do with it. This one's going to be a little tricky here because I'm up on top of a cliff. Okay. Arg? What do you mean, arg? Why are you saying arg? Oh. Okay, that... Oh, that really hurt. Michael, Jason, wait, what? Ah, come on, stop doing that. If he said something, I completely missed it just then. So apologies. It's the warning. Um, simulating conversation, guys, but I'm not hanging around to hear the end of it. That's not good. I'm starting to wonder if that planet we went to in that episode where we were on the ship that was in space, I'm starting to wonder if maybe that was actually like a cooked version of Earth, maybe? I don't know. Well, if it comes up that it said it is, then you'll know I said it first, and if it doesn't, then, um, what happened to you, dude? Launch codes. Uh, yes, please. I'll take those. Can I have your baton thingy too? 
No. Can I please put them away now? Because I'd really like to get out of here. I don't know where I am. Okay, we're back on the undersea base. Crimson, that really hurt, dude. I can't move, so I assume we're going to have a conversation. This is not the end. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, dude. Edward, buddy, I got codes or something. Why can I not get in here? Okay, I'm in here. Oh, hey, buddy, great to see you. You're wounded. Joking. Yeah, I noticed. We can still escape, I can help you. Size. They used my time cord that saved us from the cataclysmic event, but now we have the black hole. It will devour this whole station. Or simply explode. They launched all the escape pods on this level. Size and fades a bit. You don't have the launch codes by any chance, do you? I do. Um. Okay. There you go, buddy. I can't talk to you if I'm holding launch codes. There you go. Now we'll talk. Hey. Whoops. I had No. Hey. Yes. Okay. Do I have to... Oh, I bet I just gotta plug them in here or something. Okay. Do they snap into something? Can I just push the button? Oh, you know what? Let's try that. Good, I guess that worked. I don't know, place is still a little shaky. Uh-oh. Thank you, Edward. Maybe masking tape will just tape that sucker down? I will hold it. Go. Where the hell am I going? You're losing your mind. You're coming with me. There's one thing I have not told you. They were holding my younger self in the upper quarters where they were keeping me. They nearly threw me into the same cell as me. That would have been disastrous. You need to save yourself and my younger self. Someone needs to keep the hole closed as long as may be for you two to escape. I checked. There's one escape pod left on the upper level. Pauses in size. The tunnel behind us leads you right up there. Besides, we both know that only one of me can go. I was young back then. My younger self will have still so much to make right again. Oh no, this is sad. I've had my chance for a long life and have made my peace with God. I understand now. I understand it's not about me fixing the past. I am too small a deal to be able to fix such big problems. Let's leave this up to the big guy, maybe. I believe he'll make it all right again. I'm dying anyway, so what good is it now? Yes, I will shed a tear. I won't say don't cry, buddy, but not all tears are bad. I made the right what I could in the time that was given to me. My younger self needs to learn that yet. Can you please knock some sense into him for me? Aches and pain. I need his temperance to learn to live with past failures, not reverting the past after it already went broke. You know, that was the actual reason why I wanted to make the time machine to change personal choices. I'll do that. Thank you for having been such a good companion. See you on the other side. See you around, kid. Sighs of hurt. You need to hurry. There is no time. Smiles. All right. See you later, bud. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Yeah, he definitely said go. Oh, hello. You, you, you. Stop. Dude. Oh, hey, it is you. We need to get going. Er, everything all right? I will tell you later. Let's get going. The escape pod there is still boardable. Okay, I'm, I'm down for that. Hmm, seems sealed shut. If only you had a laser. Which reminds me. Yep, you had a laser. I found that laser back where they kept me. <laughs> Could have been my invention. All right, we're here. Do I get to sit? really got me. 
Um. Well, what a story. Yes. Where's the time machine? Gone, it is destroyed. You were stranded then? Lost in the tides of time? I can't return anymore. I am sorry. I really am. This must be awful to be stranded in a timeline you never knew or lived in. No more chance to repair it all. Sighs. Could you not build one? Chuckles and shakes his head. No, I am sure that for me your timeline was the biggest genius on the whole island, but I am just an inventor trying to survive. Some of my inventions work, but I don't know anything about temporal physics, you see. What was it that you wanted to tell me earlier? I lost a good friend down there. He saved us. He did, sighs. I am sorry to hear that. I hope you did exchange a few last words together. I could have said more, but there was no time. I guess nothing can be reverted now. We tried to fix the past so many times. We made it out so many times, but not this time. And now I am here. Well, you saved the future, this time maybe for good, although you may be stranded in a time. In the end, he entrusted it to a higher power. He did the right thing, I believe. Let the force which governs above our universe repair the course of this terrible adventure, yes. I'd still like to go home, though. Or, hey, I think I gotta ask you something strange, okay? Yes? When was the last time you had a dream? I believe in all the hustle, you've had no time to really rest. The last time I dreamt? Yeah. The last time was... It was right at the beginning of the game when I woke up on the couch. I'm gonna wake up on the couch. Yep. I'm waiting for the knock. What a terrible nightmare. Hey. Hello? Edward, finally, have you been sleeping on the floor again? You better have made some progress by now. Edward, but... Sighs. Tell me you finished the reactor. I did, but... Awesome, come on now. There is a little time. Our supervisor will show up soon. We need the machine to be ready. Machine? The time machine. Come on now, we've got no time. Is this a joke? We had this already. We had what? You're confusing me, buddy. Grab the reactor and follow me to the elevator. Sure. Why not? I, I, I'm just gonna go with whatever. Oh. I'm trying to find Mr. Yeah, there's Mr. Crimson in the picture of Edward's class. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Size, follow me. Okay. We'll take the stairs. Um. Present to you my newest and hopefully final attempt. Oh. Looks proud. It's a Mach 3. Come on, buddy. I modified it to reach speeds of up to 90 miles an hour. Okay, listen. I, I guess I had a dream? We all have it at times. All this happened and the agents came. Agents? They tried to seize the time machine, but I managed to escape with it. Oh, wow, but what happened with me? I reunited with you in the distant future of 2014. Oh, did they have flying cars, I wonder? Yes, yes, they did. Wow, okay, I think it was a dream then. You had me worried for a second. What? Flying cars. I only wish that was true. Now take your reactor and insert it in the reactor slot in the car. Now it's my turn. Can I close this back up? The time core! Tries to insert the core. Come on, get in, arg. Wait a minute, what? No. Don't tell me I'm gonna get the DeLorean back and then not let me have it. That's mean. Size. Well, there goes the time core. That didn't happen in your dream? No, no, it did not. You know, let us take a break. Forget that thing for now. What about the agents? Assuring. Buddy, do not worry. It was a dream. A nightmare at that. Pauses. Wait. I... I remember something. 
You remember what? I remember the future. It all went wrong. I died, and then... Looks at me. You got to tell me everything from the start. You know what? Let's get some donuts from Ben's while we're at it. Okay. Oh, it's the end of the game. Haha, <laughs> go on. What happened next? The whole store was surrounded with agents, and well, we got caught, but in the end, we managed to escape their clutches. You know, this is a really good idea for a movie or a book. General laughter. I think it is best the machine doesn't work. We should not be able to alter the past. Our duty is to make the future better. I love it. He's wearing the uh, Lost in Days t-shirt. <laughs> I mean, you wished, you prayed it to be that way in my dream. He said something after that. Not to dwell too much in the past, rather attempting, uh, rather than attempting to repair what you can for the future. Edward stares in the distance. They are both walking off to the sunset. Oh no, binocular vision focusing on the two from a distance. Who could it be? Their experiment was a failure. Shall we move to our next target? No, we are staying on target. They're in possession of information which I am interested in. We will attack at the break of night. End of Act 3. Okay. Hopefully there's going to be an Act 4 someday. So I got back to the menu and free roam. Alright, well, I guess that's the end of the series. So, I mean, it went out with a hell of a bang. I gotta admit, I, I never saw it coming. Anything that happened in this game. It's still probably one of my favorite games of all time. Um, Erithor, congratulations, man. I absolutely loved it. Um, please tell me you're going to do an Act 4. Please. But, yeah. I'm going to let the credits roll. And I don't know what we're going to do next week, I guess. But, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed No Time. Because I had a hell of a good time playing it. And I hope to see you for, well, whatever we do next. Yeah, I got it.